Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, what's good, speaker, baby? This your boy, Soldier, man. We got to have a heavy discussion, and this is only for the one-third. This ain't for no clowns and no haters. I don't know if you may be following from YouTube or if you are into church, religion, or if you run into this and you a crazy Israelite with a six-point star on your robe and you into these camps, or if you a CIA agent on every level, you know, I rebuke you demons, you two-thirds, man. You already know this stuff ain't for you. It's for the real ones, man. It's for the one-third, man. We about to get into a serious topic. And um, Yahweh wants me to throw out a mixture of things like I always do in my classic style. Um, I'm greatly enjoying this speaker outlet because it's smoother. I only get 15 minutes, but for right now, until I get a pro membership, y'all. So um, I'm going to purchase that when I get a credit card and stuff. You know, me, I'm not into the world, so I really ain't even been thinking about credit cards and stuff. So when I get that, y'all going to see me crack this off real good when I get the long stuff. So 15 minutes is all I need right now. And this is why I start my messages off with so much energy. Sometimes you can tell in my voice I'm laid back. But in this one, I'm energetic and I'm excited because it's a discussion that Yahweh wants me to put out in an audio format. I did it in many, you know, I, I expressed Yahweh's truth in many, um you know youtube videos that i made you know so many visuals of a chariot that you can see from the spirit realm and those were some beautiful memories you see and long as i've done that for him i know my memories will live forever and this is what we got to discuss y'all you know um yahweh wanted me to let y'all know for the one third make sure you understand this you know because he wants you to know that he wants you to make memories for him always understand that don't live this life to want to make a memory for yourself i don't care what it is via be you trying to win the lottery via be you just trying to be this great singer you trying to be this person who wants some esteem and some money are you just just want your family to be blessed it's all about you you know this spirit of i i i you got to make sure ain't none of that in you and you got to make memories for yahweh you see what i'm saying when you trying to walk with him you see what i'm saying and that's how he'll bless you and you got to gain his trust you see once you gain in his trust you gain his trust off of obedience you gain his trust off of accepting real truth some people that's all he asks for you to do is to accept real truth repent and you know look at your life with a sense of you know wanting to fight the spirit realm because that's what yahweh is about when you're making memories for him, you attract his attention when you fight for the right causes. Whenever you're fighting for your own cause and your own personal desires, you are like a Satan because he got a different plan. And this is why the scriptures say, you know, um, in scriptures that you can Google this, what I'm about to say also, it says in the scriptures that his thoughts are far off from ours. So, you know, when he when we call on him, we got to understand he don't think like man. That's that's the scripture. He don't think like man. You see, and that one easy to just Google what I'm saying is there. I don't got to open the Bible every time yet. And still, we're going to go through to some specific scriptures by the time this all over. But for my real ones, y'all know how I get down. And for my new ones, maybe off speaker or something. And uh, y'all don't know me. This is how I get down. This is how I speak. And I'm a chosen Hebrew from the tribe of Judah And only the chosen Hebrews can give you the, tr the, the messages Without even having to open the scriptures at times And I, you know, will also give you scriptures at times But on every message I don't You see, because I really walk this stuff these scriptures I'm about to read to you later on, I walk this stuff. These memories I'm making for him for these with these videos, I'm making these memories for him. You see what I'm saying? And this is what Yahweh wants me to get your, the point across. You see, when you're making memories for him, you got to make it for the right intent. You can't be trying to do a will for him according to your own steps. He'll tell you, let this go. But you'll be like, I ain't going to do this in this area, but I'm going to do this to please you in that area, Lord. When you do that, you are really wanting to make memories for yourself. When he's telling you to get rid of somebody who got a demon on them via be family, via be boyfriend, girlfriend, and get away from this person, that's because he wants you to fight according to the battle. This is why he says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities and powers of the air. You see what I'm saying? And only those who walk by faith can please him. He's, it's many things he said according to the same stuff I'm saying. 
And when you tap into this, you will tap into making memories for him. And this is what he was trying to teach the 12 disciples on how to walk with him by faith, make memories for him, you know, and he was testing them. Yahweh and Yahweh fell asleep on purpose and let the winds and the waves of the sea roar. And they came in crying to Yahweh and Yahweh scared when they could have rebuked the waves and the winds of the sea they self. They had enough proof that the Lord was with them. They saw miracles, but they was lazy and scared and they wanted him to get up, use his energy and use his faith when they could have used theirs and made a memory for Yahweh. You see what I'm saying? So he was teaching this in the past, y'all. And this is what Yahweh wanted me to let y'all know. When you make memories for him, that's how you tap into the true blessings for your life. And you got to understand his blessings ain't going to be exactly the format you want. It's not going to even probably be what you want. Some people want to do this. Some people want to do that. Some people want to hit the lottery. Some people want to be famous. You see what I'm saying? And... When your analogies are messed up on what you want from Yahweh, Satan can see that it's really you wanting it from him because it's always going to be something kernel that you really want. And when you really want Yahweh, you're really going to want to defend what he wants and you want to gonna want him from the spirit realm wholeheartedly. I will do this for free with nothing in my hands. I will do this for free for no gain. And this is why I don't care about cars and all this stuff like the next people do. And Yahweh will draw souls to me. And I don't even have to, you know, you know, even, you know, build a network right away. You see what I'm saying? Yahweh will draw souls to me. I'm not like a Hebrew false camp on YouTube. You see, my voice is so powerful. People will draw to me because I'm doing exactly what he called me to do. I've been doing this, going to jail and all this. And these scriptures that you're going to hear from me is scriptures that he told to me while I was locked up as well. So these is many times that these scriptures came in handy. He told me he brought it back into remembrance. And these very scriptures I'm about to read to you is the exact reason why angels came into my life as well. And the day angels came to me and I saw the chariot he showed this to me again you see what I'm saying but many many times before he showed me this same section and I highlighted it you see and this is this old raggedy bible from jail that I always kept and um it explains the mysteries of how of how angels come to you and this is what Yahweh wanted me to let you know if when your heart is right and your intentions is right you make memories for him you unlock things for him to show you as well he'll show you angels he'll show you that he's fully guarding you and he is your refuge when you make him your refuge you see what I'm saying people are you know what I'm saying wanting to you know do things they way and rebel kind of they they rebel and spiritually and not knowing it because when you don't do what he's telling you to do you're disobeying you see but when you truly making him your refuge you're going to obey his spiritual commands because it's all to because you he's a building an army of true loyal people and only one third is going to be that so we're going to get into this before i run out of time y'all i'm in psalms chapter 91 and i'm gonna start at verse 9 psalms chapter 91 and i'm gonna start at verse 9 and verse 9 it says because you have made the lord who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. And this is King David, by the way, I believe saying this. And he's starting off in verse nine saying, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, you know, even the most high, your dwelling place. And when you're really making him your dwelling place, you're going to show him you want to draw him to you for him to dwell with you. You got to make a dwelling place for him. You see what I'm saying? And when you're making a dwelling place for him, it's kind of, you know, you're obeying him. You're making him your refuge. You see what I'm saying? So many people have made their girlfriend their refuge. So many people have made false friends their refuge. So many people have made false family their refuge. So many women have made false dudes who beat them up their refuge. <laughs> they're, they're, they're knight in shining armor. They made the Lord their refuge at all and they'd be wanting to get blessed. And it's that church mentality demon that it puts on you. So verse 9, it started off as very powerful because you got to make the Lord your refuge wholeheartedly. And let's keep going, y'all. I'm in verse 10 now. Psalms chapter 91, verse 10. It says, no evil shall befall up upon you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Look at the benefits that come when you make him your refuge. Verse 11, it says, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Verse 12, it says, in their hands, they shall bear you up. Lest you dash your foot against a stone. Verse 13, it says, you shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Verse 14, it says, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, meaning he going to bless you because he has known my name, Yahweh. He shall call upon me and I will be with him. Verse 15, he shall call upon me and I shall be with him. And answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. 
You see what I'm saying? This is powerful. I would deliver him and honor him. Verse 14. I mean, verse 15 says, I will be with him in time of trouble. I would deliver him and honor him. You see what I'm saying? Verse 16, it says, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. You see what I'm saying? All this is powerful, man. I know I'm going kind of quick. I'm on a time limit, y'all. But you can research this stuff and study this and read along with me. And you can get the understanding of the benefits of making him your refuge. He's saying right here, he'll show you his angels. They'll bear you up. They'll protect you against the, 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 the spirit realm, basically, is what it's saying. You're going to be able to trample stuff, too, as well. Trample lions and stuff. You see what I'm saying? And... He, he's going to be with you when you call his name he's going to answer you you see what i'm saying and it's very powerful in verse 14 it says because he has set his love upon me therefore i will deliver him i will set him on high because he has known my name you see what i'm saying the name they're trying to keep us from because it's very important to yahweh this is where you get all these other names Josh. you know um uh, I, I don't even remember him I love Yahweh so much uh, What is that uh, Yahweh and all this stuff All of those are counterfeits And then they say The real name of Yahweh Means Satan Because Yahweh Take his name very serious And verse 14 states that Because when you call His real name With a real heart With a real dependence on him As, his ref, as, as your refuge Then you can call upon him He will answer you He will be with you In time of trouble and all And this is why He wanted me To get us through The one third And he will bless you With long life And show you his salvation you know for the one third any tribe and nationality as well it don't matter what tribe or color you are for the main tribe of hebrews or whatever as well this is mainly for us you know but for any color or tribe i love y'all deeply this is for y'all as well you know because you know it's not about a race issue or nothing he's looking at the name he he want to keep people and show them their salvation show them his salvation but it's only going to be one third ten percent of good-hearted gentiles is going to fight back the you know from their races the the wicked folks that's around them and over them they're gonna fight back you see what i'm saying and but mainly for the tribe of judah and the israelites he's gonna show y'all angels first you see we got angels and stuff that's over us and encamping over us but until you would tap into this real revelation for your life you're not gonna see none of this stuff you see what i'm saying so this is mainly for the judah tribe of judah and the israelite so-called people first you see what i'm saying and this is why i don't like to go off titles i just like to say i'm a warrior i'm a soldier for yahweh you know what i'm saying and this is what it is i'm a true hebrew elect you see <laughs> and um he ain't tell me i'm wrong yet but like i said not even the angels know who the chosen ones are so far as this power but i show you a chariot and go to seven seal soldier of yahweh and that's a chariot that's a ufo from the spirit realm that can't nobody else show you because i tapped into this a long time ago and yahweh ben yahweh even you know heard this from yahweh well yahweh ben yahweh satan had said this to yahweh ben yahweh when yahweh ben yahweh was standing on the mountain with him you see what i'm saying he was like oh if you jump want them angels come if you dash and keep you from dashing your foot on the stone you see because satan know these scriptures too he knew these scriptures back then you see what i'm saying but this is applying for a 2019 standpoint for you know the one third you know what I'm saying? The tribe of Judah and the is, you know, the true Israelites. And no matter what tribe of Gentile, you know, if your heart is real and true, this for you. He going to give us angels and all this stuff. But you have to focus on the right things. He's going to give you your heart desires, long life, things you can even possibly imagine. He's going to give to you when you tap into this. This is why I don't focus on the here and now. He's giving me just what I need to sustain myself and. I already know I'm going to get ultimate in the afterlife. This is why I don't focus on what the next man be focused on. Yet and still I understand people got to feed their families and stuff. And but and Yahweh understand that as well. But once you tap into this and be real with him wholeheartedly, he's going to take care of everything he wants you to obey in. It's just that people are not obeying due to fears. You see what I'm saying? When he's going to make everything better when you uh, when you approach and defeat those fears. So I had to put this out and this is only for the one third. You stalking people, stop watching my videos it's hard for even to do my messages because it's the demon spirit pool every time i do a message somebody get to walking around all you stalking demons on every level stop watching my stuff man and may yahweh add a blessing to the hearers of this man um i was in psalms chapter 91 starting at verse 9 through and i stopped at 16 psalm chapter 91 and i stopped at uh started at verse 9 and i stopped at verse um 16 and this is only for the one third man i don't waste my time on two thirders and this is why i'm here now off youtube 
because I'm making memories for him. All the Hollywood stars made memories for Satan, but their names is going to rot. It said that in the scriptures, but the name of the righteous is going to live forever. You see, so once y'all tap into that, you know, you will get it. So may Yahweh name be praised, man. May he add a blessing to the hearers of this, man. And I got many messages coming back to back. Stay tuned, y'all. Love y'all. One.